Good morning guys and girls, it's Stacey here with another episode of Stardew Valley and I've just walked out my front door this morning and here we go, here's Abigail. Uh, she says she's sorry for acting so weird yesterday. So when we were in her room and we had the spirit board out. Yeah, I, I understand what happened. Um, okay, you're just going to leave it at that? Uh, great, yeah, uh, sure. You know, she could just be like honest and admit that she really likes me. That would just make everything so much easier. Oh, we've got the... Oh, we've got the fair coming up in a week. Okay, that's alright. We're going to win the display again this year. We've got so much good stuff. Alright, I'm going to deal with the crops and the animals. And I will then... I think today we might try and go up to Robin's place and see if we can get some upgrades happening. See what we need to get that happening. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, no. Robin's not here today. Okay, so on Tuesdays, Robin's shop is not open. We'll have to remember that in the future. That's not very useful. Um, I guess, what else can we do today? We can just try and collect things. How are we going with our collections? So we've got whatever that is, and whatever that is. And I'm pretty sure that's a void egg. That's an iridium bar. We can't spare any of those just yet. Um, what else have we got? That'll be a truffle. That'll be wool. That'll be truffle oil. That's going to be a rabbit's foot. That's an apple. Flowers, which will grow. So most of this, I think we're pretty good with. I've got no idea what that is. Hmm. Okay, well, is there anything else that we can work on then? We can go down the mines and try and get these fish. That might be worthwhile. Artifacts. We're still missing quite a lot of artifacts. So, but I mean, that it, it's hard to chase those down. Same with the stones. That's just, like, luck. We could try and do some cooking. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea at some point, to try and go through and do all the recipes. How are we going for the achievements? We're not quite a millionaire. We haven't cooked enough recipes. 15 of each crop. Wow. That's... Wait... We're working on it. We're working on it. All right, well, I think the best course of action then is probably to go down the mines, try and get some, um, oh, copper and iron and see if we can't get some more artifacts and see if we can catch those fish. Oh, whoa, that did not take long. We've got a stone fish. Okay, well, I guess uh, let's head down then to, what is it, level 60? Yeah, okay, we'll give this a shot. Okay, here we go. We've got the ice pit. We're just having such a great day today. I mean, this is this is really good. What level was the other lake? Is it like level 90 maybe? No, it's not level 90. Uh, 100? Here we go. Let's see if we can go for all three. Let's make it a trifecta. We can get all of the mine fishes today. That would be amazing. Alright guys, we're going to have to give up. I hooked it a bunch of times, but I just could not quite get it. So, yeah, I mean... We did pretty well though. We got the other two. And yeah, I guess um, we'll go home, we'll sleep. We will hopefully... Mm. Is Robin going to be there tomorrow? Oh, hey, that rabbit knocked the berries off the bush. We should probably say hello to Linus. Hi, have a berry. What? Somebody sprayed paint all over your house? Who would do that? That's so rude. I wouldn't have thought anybody in this town would be capable of being so mean. Who knows? Maybe there's an undercurrent of horrible people in Stardew Valley. You never know. Alright, bedtime. Oh! We've got another chicken hatch. Uh, it would be... <laughs> no, no, that's probably a pretty apt name for a void chicken. Uh... It would probably... I called the other one Dread. Existential... No, void. Mm. Call this one Terror. Yep. They seem appropriate names for void chickens. Oh my gosh, guys. Just look over here. Look over here. What have we got? We have got a rabbit's foot. You know what that means? That means we can finish off the Enchanters bundle, which means we only need a poppy 
Oh right, let's head on up to Robin's and see how much it's going to cost us to upgrade. I know the house is going to be beyond our reach because we don't have enough um, hardwood. But maybe we can look at getting other buildings. Do we need anything else? Let's just find out what she's got. I haven't been up here for a while, so it's probably worth just checking in, seeing if there's anything new happening or anything like that. So how much would it cost us to buy hardwood? We can't buy hardwood. Okay. So the house needs 150 pieces of hardwood. We can afford it. We can't get the hardwood. What else is there in farm buildings? Coop barn. Well, we don't really need. Silo. We don't really need. Mill. At some point we're going to need a mill. 150 wood, 50 stone, 4 cloth. We could probably look into doing that soon. Shed. We probably don't need another shed. Slime hutch, I'm going to ignore. Okay, so the mill was, what was it? Really cheap, but 150 stone, uh, wood, 50 stone, 4 cloth. We can afford that. We can easily afford that. The question is, where would we put it? So let's head on back and let's just have a think about this for a moment. Because, yeah, I mean, give me those blackberries, please. It's quite, kind of funny that the same bushes produce salmon berries, blackberries, and whatever, what else they do? They did something else as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so, if we were going to have a mill, we'd want it to be fairly close to the house. Uh, the question is, where? I mean, this is all taken up with our fruit trees. I kind of regret that decision. It should have been sheds and stuff through here. Um, we've got a shed down here. Unless we remove all of these grapes at the end of the season and put a mill in here. But I was going to do sheds in here as well. Um, it's for wheat and beets. Uh, I could probably remove all of this stuff. Yeah, I could move all of these trees somewhere else. Because they take a long time to produce. So they could actually go... They could go down here. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. If we, if we move all of those trees down here, um, maybe extend this a little bit give the animals a little bit more room. Yeah, we might have to do that. That way the animals can have all of the grass that grows all the way down here. We can have our trees lined up somewhere down here. Yeah, I think that's probably a better idea. Okay, rabbit foot and pomegranate. And here we are, literally one poppy away from finishing off the community centre. That is so exciting. Five gold bars. Ooh, okay, I won't sniff at that. That's pretty awesome. Literally just one poppy away. That is so good. We are almost finished with the community centre, which... I mean, I, I know that's like the major quest in this game, but I mean, there's, there's so much else to do around that. But that is just so exciting. Oh, something's happening. I went to sleep for the night and something, something is happening. Uh, there's a fairy. Right. Oh, she's making my crops grow. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Goodbye. Well, here we go. She's made a whole bunch of my pumpkins grow, which is pretty awesome. Pity she couldn't make all of them grow. Uh... Thanks for the recipe, Caroline. Okay, well, I guess um, let's attend to all of this and I'll have to go and get some crops to put in there. I'll have to get another fresh lot of pumpkin. Okay, guys. So we've now looked after the crops and all that sort of stuff for today. It's Jodie's birthday, which means that I want to go give her a present. Who else do I need to give presents to? Who else sort of likes me but doesn't really... So I need to give Clint something. I can give him an amethyst. Abigail can have an amethyst. Leah, I can't give her anything. Um, Penny, I have to give... Jodie's going to love me when I give her a diamond. Penny, I have to give a diamond to as well. So basically, if I just grab a bunch of diamonds... Maybe leave one behind. And I've 
also got the void mayonnaise on me and that's for a reason and so we'll, we'll try and find people first because that's kind of the priority but afterwards there's something I want to try I have a feeling void mayonnaise will do it but I'm not 100% sure so yeah we're just gonna give it a try we'll see how things go uh, we can stop and give Marnie a present on our way past well that's nice uh, can you please get out of my way Yep, yeah, she loves me now. Almost. Uh, what did, what does Jazz actually like? Fairy Rose. I don't really have anything to give her. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have anything to give her. However, let's go on to Jody's pla place. Hi, Sam. Yeah, yeah, you probably should. How about happy birthday, happy birthday, Jody? Yep, she loves me now. <laughs> I love it when people just like get to ten stars, and I can just completely forget about them. I don't have to do anything with them anymore. Uh, Kent, uh, I don't have anything for you today. Okay, so we've done our duty by Jody for her birthday. Now, who was it? I wanted to go talk to Abigail, that's right. There's Penny. Oh, and I wanted to give Penny a diamond too. There we go. Okay. Um, Abigail is probably in her room. Eh, I might give you a calf. I might not. Don't know if I can be bothered. But there she is. Okay. You may have... An amethyst. Yep, I thought you would. Okay. Uh, who else was I going to give gifts to? Maybe Clint? Did I say Clint? Pretty sure I said Clint, right? Yeah, Clint. He will want an amethyst. So we'll just quickly dash off down there. We got here just as a train arrived! What happens if I stand in front of it? Well, <laughs> it causes me some damage. Okay. Let's not do that. Gee, it's almost like what really happens when you stand in front of a train. Okay, this is not ideal because I was actually hoping to get past here. Oh, stone. Yay. Love stone. Free stone. I wonder if I can get some free hardwood. That would be great. Nothing else has fallen off. What did she get on my horse? Look at my horse. Pop in, love Abby. <laughs> Abigail, have you been graffiti? Maybe she was the person that graffitied Linus's tent. How horrible. Okay, okay, right. No, okay, it's not. Ah, oh, I really thought that was going to be it. Oh, well, okay. Okay, I've been reading the wiki, and what you need to do is you need to be good friends with the wizard, and we are not. Uh, we, he only likes us six so why don't we go and give him something that he absolutely loves and hopefully sooner or later we'll be good enough friends with him to get into that area there or we get we have a cut scene with him and then we have to go and do something else and it's a long process to get in there so we should probably start doing it now because i have a feeling that's where the rest of the fish that we need are to complete our fish collection so let's um grab our well so many things going on in here Cannot wait until we've got the hardwood to upgrade this area. This is getting a little bit crazy. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Okay, the wizard really loves Void Essence, and we've got tons of that. So let's take him a Void Essence. And see if maybe he loves us enough to let us through there. Nope, apparently he doesn't like us enough. That's okay, we'll keep trying. We'll give him a Void Essence every week. And sooner or later he's going to love us. And then, yeah, we'll be able to access all those other areas. Anyway, guys, I think this is probably going to do it for today. I think we've, we've achieved a fair amount. You know, we it doesn't feel like it today, but we've, we've done a lot. 
So yeah, I think this is probably the best place to leave it. So if you guys liked this episode, please leave a like. If you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. Oh god, we've got to sell some of this stuff. We've got way too much stuff here. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Um, yeah. So leave a like if you liked it. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.